introduction by saying that it's, it's an honor to be speaking with you, uh, sir, and I think I've seen Back to the Future and Forrest Gump more than any other film <laughs> in my entire life. Thank you. That said, don't applaud yet. <laughs> that said, uh, two years ago, I was assigned to review a film that you produced uh, called Mars Needs Moms. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the reaction that that movie had at the box office. And it, among many groups, uh, many critics found it uh, not only bad, but partially a little uh, uh, offensive. Uh, but I guess what I'm asking is I'd like to, because of my respect for you, and I'm trying to resonate it, what... Uh, what, what happened there? Did you, uh, how much creative control did you have? Are you happy with the final product of uh, Marcy's Mom, that particular film? Oh, yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> thank you for liking uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, well, I respectfully disagree with you completely. Uh, I think uh, I think the movie got um, vilified for no good reason. It was uh, a movie that was uh, was sort of uh, kicked down the stairs uh, and not given a, a, a fair release. It was uh, it was. Uh, it was marketed incompetently and um, and uh, was was caught in a big executive shuffle that happened over at the at the studio. And having said that, I actually think uh, the movie is quite good. And I will go one step further and say <clears throat> I think it's the best uh, 3D movie made since Avatar. The 3D in that movie is breathtaking. It's it's the way 3D should should be presented. 